Yeah, obsessive compulsive disorder or OCD as it's more commonly referred to consists of obsessions and compulsions as the name might suggest. And by obsessions we mean recurrent intrusive thoughts that pop into people's minds against their will that they experience as highly distressing. And by compulsions what we mean are repeated behaviours or mental acts that the person feels compelled to perform. And often that might be, let's say, checking appliances are switched off or that doors are locked. It can also include cleaning. And there are also mental rituals that people with OCD can also feel compelled to perform. Between about 1 and 2% of people in the UK are affected by OCD. And that translates into between about 600,000 people and 1.2 million people living in the UK with OCD. We know that in the UK, between about 1 and 2% of the population are affected by OCD, which means about half a million to a million people living in the UK. But if we look at Sussex specifically, that means that about 30 to 60,000 people are living with OCD in Sussex. In terms of sort of age groups that are affected, OCD is actually um, present from childhood through to later life, although the for age of first onset typically is below the age of 25. And what's fortunate, although some people can live with OCD for many years, is that we have treatments that are available, such as exposure and response prevention and cognitive therapy, that can be really effective at helping people overcome OCD or learning to live better with OCD. So for people who have OCD who don't have access to treatment, it can be a good idea to come forward for treatment sooner rather than later because lots of people who are experiencing OCD will find that OCD doesn't tend to get better on its own. And in fact, surveys have suggested that on average people living with OCD wait 10 years before coming forward for treatment. And so in fact, if people are encouraged to come forward more quickly, hopefully people can overcome OCD sooner than they would otherwise.